Okay, and we are mic'd up. Uh, my name's Kirk Kerber, and uh, it is, let's go live on Checking Connection. Uh, we are now live. My name is Kirk Kerber, and we are now uh, getting ready in Studio 4 in New York City, Manhattan. And uh, I'm going to be talking to three, three, count them, three cameras tonight. We're going to be talking about the uh, El Goliath tarot deck and who is Goliath. And if you've never seen it, it uh, here's one card from this deck. And uh, it's a full numbered tarot deck with, uh, hang on, we're telling more followers to join the video. Okay. I've never done a live Instagram feed, so please, if it's horrible, go over and watch it, mnn.org, uh, channel three, in about eight, nine minutes. Uh, okay, Facebook. How you doing, Facebook? Tonight, we're going to be talking about the El Goliath deck, and if you have any questions or comments, oh, <clears throat> boy, I'm a shaman, not a tech person. Okay. Uh, I drew this card, actually. I'm going to show you guys. Don't worry. I drew this card and this card today, okay? So I got the, the wolf card, all right, which is uh, the Knight of Cups, okay? Here you go. I got the Knight of Cups. Let's show our TV audience here. Where are we? Oh, we're on camera one, camera two. Should we go on camera one? Uh, if you haven't seen the show, my name is Kirk Kerber, and I do a live feed uh, New York City, Manhattan broadcast uh, every Monday for the last 15 years. So we've never attempted to do three cameras. So I'm going live on Facebook here, and I think we are, yeah, insert an emoji. We are live on Facebook, uh, definitely. Okay, let's try that. So it's just kind of be like, uh, there we go. Uh, so how you doing, Facebook? How you doing, Instagram? And New York City and beyond, we're going live in seven minutes around the world. And if you want to watch all the cool, groovy visuals that you're not really catching on our green screen, you can go to M, Mary Nancy Nancy, mnn.org and then go down to Channel 3, Spirit Channel, and uh, you can watch the show as it is recorded out to New York City and the entire internet with the visuals in the background. But uh, if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you're just gonna get the feed. So what are we doing here, what are we doing? Uh, I'm kinda looking like a, test, 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 I'm kinda looking like a 70s porn producer. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is, oh my God, it's kind of funny. Uh, I don't know how that happened. It just kind of did. Um, so, in a minute, you know, we're going to be showcasing the, and talking and reviewing on, I'll try to answer any questions. I'll try to switch back from uh, Facebook to Instagram. And we also take phone calls as well. Uh, so if somebody wants to talk to me, I'll toss the phone call. Uh, El Goliath Deck sent a request to be in your live video on Go Live with El Goliath. Uh, so El Goliath has just joined us on Instagram. It's going to be kind of like this. So if it interests you and you really want to watch and you're interested in tarot cards and you're a shaman or you're a witchy witch person, uh, El Goliath, are you there? Uh, I can't. Hey, is this, how's the sound here? Is it uh, good? I'm not really going to know any of these sound levels at all. But uh, thanks for joining, Facebook uh, family, Facebook friends. El Goliath is uh, showing us some, some of uh, his drawings and his cards. Now, you got to understand that for one artist... Let me see. We're going live in New York City in five minute, minutes. For one artist to actually draw all this stuff, and I'm going to give you guys lots of visuals, okay? Uh, for one artist to draw this, and not only draw this, but to also, 
I think it took over four years, almost five years to birth this thing. Let me just make sure we have good sound here. Okay. I think we have good volume. Uh, El Goliath, I can't hear anything you're saying if you're talking, but... Uh, so, five years to birth this thing, and uh, this is not a deck that you could really learn, actually, in, you know, a couple of months. Uh, it's, I'm going to give you my take on it, and I'm going to give you, you know, I did not read the professional PR thing that El Goliath put out. So I don't know how El Goliath sees the deck. I'm going to tell you, as a seasoned reader of Tarot for over 25 years, uh, personal and professional clients and paid professional clients around the world, Tarot reader, and also a collector. I've been to conventions. I've been to uh, the Tarot school downtown. <clears throat> and I've studied the Tarot cards on and off my entire life. Well, I'll have my life, 25 years. So I can give you my take, and I can give you my, you know, review. And uh, first of all, uh, we're just going to hang out just like a little more, three minutes longer. If anybody has like a couple of questions, uh, I'm going to just give you some of these images and look at how beautiful these are. Uh, like I said, my name's Kirk Kerber. I've had a TV, spiritual, metaphysical, television show uh, for the last 15 years here in New York City, and we talk about all things supernatural, spiritual, mystical, and magical. And uh, tonight we're talking about an animal, shaman, magical tarot deck from a friend of from a friend of mine. Oh my God! Okay, uh, El Goliath is actually on our. What? What did you say? I've never heard your voice. How are you? I can see you, I can see you, but I'll just show you, I'll just show you the images of the, of the cards on my, on my chat. I think you might be able to see um, the strength card. Yeah. We can see them. Uh, Yay. <laughs> we're uh, live on Facebook as well right now, and we're also going out live to New York City in two minutes. So what do you want to say? We actually have the creator here, and I'm going to – I'm going to kind of go back and forth and tell Facebook what's happening. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Goliath, what what do you want us to know about this deck? Yeah, so I wanted to create a deck that I felt kind of dived a little bit deeper and you had to kind of use your intuition a bit more. Like I wasn't, I wasn't going to spoon feed and I didn't want to include humans in the deck. I wanted it to be animal. So you have to kind of connect with the energy of the animal and think about like, what a cobra is or, you know, what a rabbit is. And I wanted to kind of um, just put a lot of meat on the bone and, and really create a deck that people could just kind of, you know, do a little bit more work and dive a little bit deeper into their own gifts and, you know, just kind of um, just asking the audience to engage more, I think. <laughs> Okay, you know what I really and truly wanted to ask you is there's a part about shadow work. Now, uh, Goliath tells me he wanted more animals. I'm talking to the Facebook audience. Uh, Goliath tells me that he wants more animals. He wants people to dive deeper in, use their own tuition. You know, this is an advanced deck. Beginners can have it, but he said, you know, I'm not going to spoon feed you the wisdom, the knowledge, and the truth. And you're going to have to find it in the images, find your own truth, and find it in the animals and the animal medicine. Is that about right? Yeah, that's, that's it. And I thought, um, I took out the humans because I didn't want it to be like, if there was like a lady with red hair, then everyone would think, oh, my mom's got red hair, so it must be her. So I wanted people to really connect more with the, um, with the animals. And that's why the deck is uh, black and white. It is monochrome. I just, um, I feel like when it's in black and white, it is more shadowy and it's more dramatic and it kind of, um, it more embodies the shadow without color and, um, I feel like, yeah, it was just something that I've always wanted to do. I wanted to create a deck that I could put out into the world that I could say that I was really proud of and, um, it embodies the shadow. So it's more about like your subconscious. It's more about diving deeper into, um, yeah, into the unseen things behind things and just 
kind of connecting to your own truth a bit more. So it is not a deck that is designed for uh, you know a, a newbie. It is a deck that I want it to be more for people that are a little bit more advanced. Um, so they've, they've kind of done a bit more work, and that's kind of the, the gist of what I wanted to do. But yeah. <laughs> Okay, so basically he's saying, you know, well, the deck is perfect for me. I'm a seasoned reader. It's for witchy people that know animal medicine, that, you know, really deal and work in, you know, psychic medium, uh, subconscious work, any type of, like, psychiatrist, psychologist, this would be great for, uh, any kind of witchy, esoteric uh, shaman or magical, mystical person. It's, he says it's really not a beginner's deck. Um, you know, I can see it's it's uh, it's very weighty. And you know, when I yeah, got the heavy. deck, yeah. it's it's pretty heavy. I mean, when uh, you know, Goliath sent me the deck from Australia, and uh, I you know I just oh I just put it in my house, and I just kind of like was like, all right, just let the energy get in here because <laughs> you know I wanted. I felt the magic coming in already. And so the deck was imbued with magic. I mean, I'm an initiated shaman. Let me just talk to my New York audience for a minute. Uh, if you just joined us in New York City or uh, at MNN.org, Channel 3, to get those visuals, excellent El Goliath visuals in the background, uh, then we are talking with the actual uh, Goliath who created the deck, which we have right here. And uh, we're showing images from it, and we're talking about it. And um, that's what's going on. We're live on uh, Facebook, and we're live on Instagram. Okay, here's a good thing. So, uh, Goliath, tell us. Okay, it took five years to birth the deck. I was off in the forest. I kind of go and do my thing in the bush. And um, I'm here <laughs> in Australia, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, really to, yeah, nature, pine trees, stuff like that. And um, basically, I decided that I was at a point in my life where I wanted to create something um, that just hadn't been done before. Mm -hmm. I was picking up decks a lot of the time, and I just felt like they were pretty, and I could but they just didn't um, they just didn't kind of speak to me so I wanted to create something that I would really want to work with that um, really encompassed something a bit more heavier and so I started um, scribbling on books paper all over my wall in my bedroom and it just kind of started to grow from there and I wrote down words and I thought like well what do I want to say what, what is it that I want to communicate and you know, if I have something in me, um, you know, now's the time to bring it out and, and connect with different things, with deity or whatever. And so the first card that I started with was the death card. Um, for me, in a deck, it's the death card and the devil card. If they aren't connecting with me, then I just, yeah, I just, it's not my thing. But I started with the death card and, and then it kind of just kind of started to tell me what to do. Like I started to with other things and it's kind of grew more and more and lots of scribbles and sketches and and they kind of um became the bones and the building blocks of the deck and yeah but um yeah it was basically i'd always wanted to do a deck but i just feel like i hadn't given myself permission or the time to actually really do it and and do the artwork and and make that commitment to myself so that's kind of where it started <laughs> okay <laughs> So you were ready to birth. Let me speak to the Facebook audience. Now, if anybody watching on Facebook, on the Instagram live feed over here, I have Goliath, the creator of the deck. So if anybody on Facebook wants to type some questions and ask uh, the questions to Goliath, I will ask him directly. So if anybody has any comments about the deck, where can I get the deck? Uh, the deck, you can go to a Facebook page, I know, and you can also go to uh, El Goliath Tarot Deck on Instagram. And so what Goliath is telling me is, now, wait, Goliath, how long have we known each other? Is it 
about five years, six years? Yeah, it's been a few years. I, I found you on YouTube, and um, I just, yeah, like, you resonate with your truth. Um, you know, it's, it's the whole thing is that a lot of the this esoteric market is completely saturated with white bearing stuff that completely ignores the totality of the reality that we live in. And, um, and that really kind of annoys me. And I was just like, can we just have a deck that addresses psychopaths? Can we just have a deck that addresses, you know, this behavior that just is not star seed behavior that's going on? And that's why I kind of decided to do it. Like, one of the cards is actually, um, it's called Owl Masks, which was dedicated to dealing with psychopaths and sadists. And they seem to be in every workplace, in every family, in every street corner, and no one wants to talk about them or knows how to deal with them. So... I wanted to kind of um, do a deck and then I did the bonus cards, which were kind of more like addressing these, this behavior and these people that we all seem to have to deal with, but no one really wants to look at it or talk about it. So um, so for a while, the deck was really quite dark and it got really dark and I had to kind of pull back a little bit because I was like, God, like, I don't think people, <laughs> I don't think people are going to connect with this. Oh, it's too much, but... Yeah, it went that way. Um, so yeah, there's light cards, dark cards, but it was really about, um, yeah, just kind of staying out of the light and diving into the, the, the depths a bit, you know, and um, having the, this deck requires a bit of work. It doesn't, like, it's not about people just looking at a pretty picture. I want, you know, I want them to, you've got to do a bit of effort involved in, um, in connecting with the animal or connecting with what I'm trying to say. But, yeah. Okay, <laughs> you, you definitely, okay, from what my, you know, I've been, I can't say I've worked completely. I've given one full reading with the deck to another witch friend of mine, and it was a sensational, unbelievable reading for all three people involved. It was like a, you know, a circle and, and just knowledge and, and medicine came through and magic, and it was really great. But, you know, I can't say, like, when I say I've worked with the deck, it means I've worked with the deck three to five years. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, my yeah. daily deck is uh, the Albano uh, Rider Waite uh, Coleman Smith deck. It's not a, a well-known deck. It's, uh, it's uh, all white card backs, and it's got a hyper, hyper color colorization. So that's my daily deck. And then I also use just the Rider Waite Giant Tarot, uh, the cards are about three times the size. But you know, to work with it, so to work with a deck as a professional, like I don't think I would give a professional reading with this deck unless I'd worked with it for yeah. three to five years, yeah. because yeah. you just don't know. You know, every you need time to, yeah, you need time to yeah. I've, I've been getting that a lot from people. Like they, this is a deck they're going to put on heavy rotation, but they they have to kind of um, give themselves that time artwork and, and connect with it because a lot of people um like they look at it and they're like oh you know, i can't i can't i don't know how and it's like it's pushing you to kind of push a little bit further into um you know dive, dive down the well a little bit deeper um particularly with some of the the tens and the majors um because i wanted to look at it from a shadow angle um which is what the agenda was. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people have got the deck and they need to just give themselves a bit of time to let it, you know, just sink in and, and connect with it. So it's this, something that I think is a gradual, um, it'll be like a gradual work in progress, bonding with it. Um, I, I've given a few readings with it. It's different for me because I did it. Like, it's quite surreal, you know, shuffling a deck that you created. Um, but some of the cards are quite jarring. Some of them are designed to be confronting. Um, and I've had some, some interesting feedback with the Hierophant and the Devil. Um, you know, the, with the Devil, I kind of, I didn't want to play around too much. It was, uh, you know, like this goat, you know, obviously there's a white goat as a scapegoat. Uh, it's also like, you know, in a dark forest, it's been feeding off another life force is sustaining its own with all the blood dripping down its face um and it's kind of like the snake is kind of telling the you know the goat what to do it's 
like the, the goat is under control of the snake. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so I've had some people from um, the Church of Satan, I've had different people that have come at me and kind of gone, oh my God, like this is really quite violent. And um, that's what I wanted. I want a jarring reaction for some of them. And then there's more gentle cards, like, you know, the pyramid, it's, it's more soft than, you know, it's about being in the space. <coughs> okay, and, what so you're I'm saying... Like, yeah. What you're saying is, okay, this deck is a heavyweight deck, and what he's saying is he's not shying away from the dark aspects of our time here. Uh, we as, you know, I don't, I identify as initiated shaman after five near-death experiences. I was probably a very early indigo child and in, born in the 60s. I was probably the first wave of indigos. I'm a full-scale, full-tilt empath. And, you know, in this lifetime, point blank, being a triple Gemini with a Pisces rising, you know, uh, I got a devil and an angel on my shoulder. But I got to tell you, at some point, I made a choice. I choose to do good in this lifetime for no other reason other than I just chose that and I'm committed to it. So I don't yeah. think it's so much being a good person or being a bad person. But what uh, El Goliath is saying is we do have psychopaths in the workplace. We do have psychotic people. I mean, I'm kind of obsessed with serial killer TV shows. And I, you know, I read about H.H. Uh, H. Holmes, who was the first, America's first uh, serial killer, and also Jack the Ripper. I'm fascinated by it. But so yeah, what El Goliath is saying about this deck what he's saying about this deck is he's not shying away and just making it a deck that is just like all light and angels and unicorns. He's trying to encompass all of these darker aspects of our psyches and kind of con confronting the person that works with the deck to uh, get into a state of wholeness and make peace and also recognize the darkness in other people. Is that about right? Is that like, am I getting... Yeah. Now, let's just talk about you briefly, uh, your own personal yeah. journey. Do you want to, you know, I can't tell you, especially being a Pisces rising and other Pisces I've known, and this is going to be kind of a stereotype, but I think it's true. Uh, the other Pisces I've known, there is just no end or limitation to their darkness. I mean, yeah. we are the oldest souls. You know, uh, the Pisces supposedly is the oldest souls. But if you've got a prominent Pisces ruling somewhere, and especially for me, Pisces rising, there is some major dark shit going on there. Yeah. And yeah, sure is. it's like it just doesn't end. You know what I mean? No, like, well, uh, that's, yeah, it's Pisces. Like, Pisces is, like, on its way back to source. I mean, they're the last. Like, they're kind of heading back. They've got one foot in one world and one foot in the other. And, right, right. And so they're kind of, yeah. So, you know, I mean, just making peace with the dark and, like, how far do you want to go? This was explained to me at some point. There are shadow aspects. If you want to read a great book, and it's only 100 pages long, it's by a, a guy named Robert Johnson. He wrote a book named He. He wrote a book named She. He wrote a book named We. And then he wrote a book about the darker aspects and uh, collective shadow, uh, personal shadow, and how to make peace with the shadow. And uh, I would highly, highly recommend it. I'm actually discussing the book with my... Uh